Hi friends, welcome back to another Reel Out with Mr. Ward. So for today's story, you might recognize the characters because it's from a movie, but this one is called Flick the Inventor. Now this is based off of a Bug's Life movie. Princess Dot and some of the blueberries stood outside Flick's room in the anthill. Pop! Wheeze! Gulp! came the noises from inside. As always, Flick was trying to invent something to help the ant colony. Maybe we should ask him if he needs help, Dot suggested. But before anyone could answer, there was a loud thump. Flick bounced out of the room, landing at Dot's feet. Hmm, Flick mutters as he stood up and brushed himself off. The flinging mechanism must be too tight. Flick was so deep in thought, he didn't even notice Dot and her friends. He marched right past them and back into his room. Well, Dot said, at least we know he's okay. The next morning, Dot saw Flick at the edge of the fields with funny-looking machine. Hi, Flick, Dot said. What you working on? Oh, hello, Princess, said Flick. He smiled happily. This is my pickup and mover machine. How does it work? asked Dot. Here, let me show you, Flick said as he helped Dot up onto a rock. Then, he started his machine. Soon, an arm on the machine reached out and grabbed Dot. That tickles, she said, giggling. Suddenly, Dot felt herself being lifted into the air. A moment later, she landed safely on the ground. Wow-wee, cried Dot. Look how far I moved. Excellent, Flick said. I'm glad I adjusted that flinging mechanism. Otherwise, you might have ended up on the other side of Ant Island. Just then, Thorny appeared. Flick, Thorny said, why aren't you collecting food with the rest of the worker ants? Hello, Thorny. I was hoping you'd ask me that very question, Flick replied. You see, I have invented a new machine. Would you like to see how it works? Thorny was angry. We don't have time for all of these silly inventions. There's work to be done. We need to collect food. But, Flick cried, tried to explain, just get to work like the other ants, Thorny called as he stomped away. Flick hung his head. Don't worry, Flick, said Dot. You'll figure out some way to use your invention. I just know it. Yeah, it must be good for something, but what? Flick said to Dot as he walked out to the fields to work. Later that night, Flick sat in his room trying to think of a useful invention. Suddenly, he got an idea. He worked deep into the night. Early the next morning, Dot found Flick outside looking intently at a large stock. Flick, she said. You better get out in the fields with the other ants. Thorny's been looking for you. Sure I will, Dot, Flick said. But wouldn't you like to see my latest invention first? It's a stock chopper. Flick, you're going to get in trouble, Dot warned. You're supposed to be collecting food. Yes, yes, Flick said. I will, I will, right after I try this out. Stand back, princess. Flick started up his machine and set to work. Moments later, the stock was chopped neatly in half. Aha! Flick cried. It worked! How do you like that, princess? But Dot didn't answer. Thorny did. How many times do I have to tell you there's work to be done? Cried Thorny. But Thorny, Flick said, look at this. It's my new stock chopping machine. We don't have time for this, Thorny insisted. But I'm sure, Flick said, we don't need to chop stocks. We need to collect food, Thorny told him. Flick's antenna drooped as he walked out to the fields to join the other worker ants. That's all Thorny thinks about, harvesting food, Flick mumbled to himself. Then Flick stopped short. That's what we need, he cried. A harvester, a machine to collect food. Flick turned around and raced back to his room. He looked at his pickup and mover machine. Then he looked at his stock chopping machine. 
Hmm. What would happen if I combined them? Flick thought out loud. I guess there's only one way to find out. The following morning, with his new invention strapped to his back, Flick headed toward the fields. He smiled as he watched two ant children run past him playing tag. Then, he waved to some worker ants collecting food. Flick sighed happily. He knew that his invention would save the worker ants hours of working time. In fact, Flick thought he might become something of a hero. Flick tried to get Thorny's attention, but Thorny was too busy talking to Princess Ada. And Princess Dot was nowhere to be found. Flick! One of the worker ants called out. What crazy thing did you invent this time? Ha ha ha. The other ants laughed too. That Flick, one said. He's always thinking up useless stuff. But Flick didn't mind the other ants teasing. He was busy starting up his machine. Then he cut down a stalk. Moments later, the flinging mechanism launched dozens of pieces of grain into a basket. Flick's machine worked. Hey, cried one worker ant. That's your pickup and mover machine. That's right. Flick said proudly. And it's connected to your stock chopping machine, said another ant. Uh-huh, Flick replied. Wow, shouted the worker ants. Yep, I put them together and made a harvester, Flick explained. Now, one ant can collect as much food as a whole bunch of ants put together. Hooray, cried the other ants. Three cheers for Flick. Flick grinned. He had done it. He had finally created a really useful machine. And that's our little story of Flick and him inventing the harvester. All right, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, friends. So for today's activity, I'm going to try to make butter. You only need a couple things. I have a container and inside of it I put heavy whipping cream. It's called heavy cream or you can use milk but it's got to be whole milk. It can't be light milk or anything like that. I let it sit in the in the container for a little bit to try and get it a little bit warmer. I don't want it hot. I just want it to not be so cold like it was in the refrigerator. And then all I have to do now is shake it but you got to shake it for a while. So right now it looks really wet and loose and keeps moving around. So if I shake it, it's supposed to separate and then there'll be thick butter and just a little bit of water. So let's see if that works. I'm gonna put it on a different setting for my camera so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Otherwise it'd take forever. All right guys, let me show how it's looking. So I've been shaking it really hard for a long time. And remember I told you it was gonna look like it was separated from butter and some water. So that's exactly what happened. So let's see if I can get it a clear shot. So there's the butter and then the liquid. See all of it's floating around. So now I gotta get all that water out, but then I have my butter left over. And then I have butter. I made it myself and you can do the same thing. All right guys, moment of truth. I got the liquid out of my butter and I have this nice, big, beautiful ball of butter. But how do I know if it is butter and if it tastes any good? Got my knife, got my bread, put some on here, and let's see how it turned out. Mm -mm. Look at that, it spreads just like butter. Mm. You gotta try it. Pretty fun. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.